Is India about to take over the space before China? Have you ever wondered if India is about to take over the space race before China? Sounds interesting, right? Well, let's dive right into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Future Arc, your go-to channel for all things related to the cosmos. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that often goes under the radar, India's space program. That's right, we'll be exploring whether India is on the verge of overtaking China in the space race. So buckle up and prepare for an interstellar journey of knowledge and discovery. A brief history of India's space ambitions. Let's rewind the clock and take a trip back to the 1970s. That's when India's foray into space flight began, making it one of the few independent nations to develop and launch orbital rockets. In fact, they even achieved the incredible feat of reaching the Moon and Mars without their spacecraft. However, India's space ambitions haven't always gone smoothly, with occasional setbacks like the recent SSLV rocket test failure. But overall, India has made a significant contribution to human spaceflight that often goes unnoticed. It's time to shine a light on their accomplishments. The Birth of the Indian Space Research Organization the Indian Space Research Organization was established in 1969, just a month after Neil Armstrong's historic moonwalk. Inspired by the accomplishments of other nations, India recognized the importance of maintaining a presence in outer space. While they didn't aim to win the space race, they aimed to be efficient and cost-effective, ensuring they wouldn't be left behind by global superpowers like the United States, Russia, and China. The Aryabhata and SLV India's first satellite, the Aryabhata, was launched on April 19, 1975. Although the mission faced some setbacks and the satellite ceased transmitting after five days, it was a significant milestone for India. The iconic 26-sided polyhedron shape of the Aryabhata became a symbol of the early space race and was even featured on India's currency and a Soviet postage stamp. In 1979, India achieved another milestone with a satellite launch vehicle, their first indigenous rocket. After an initial failed attempt, they successfully launched the Rohini-1 satellite into orbit in 1980. With four stages and solid propellant engines, the SLV could lift up to 40 kilograms to low Earth orbit. Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle Building on their early successes, India developed the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle on 20 September 1993. The PSLV became their workhorse rocket, offering affordable access to space. With a mix of solid and liquid-fueled stages, including India's first liquid-fueled engine, the PSLV could carry payloads of up to 1,750 kilograms to low Earth orbit. It quickly gained international recognition and it has completed 54 successful launches as of May 22, 2023. India's frugal approach to spaceflight allowed them to offer significantly discounted launch prices compared to other nations. For instance, launching one kilogram of payload on the PSLV cost around $8,420, while the space shuttle charged approximately $54,500 per kilogram. India proved that they could achieve impressive results with limited resources. Lunar and Martian Ambitions India's space program expanded its horizons beyond Earth. In 2008, the Chandrayaan-1 mission aimed to reach the moon. Although it didn't land on the lunar surface, the mission successfully placed a probe in lunar orbit. The moon impact probe part of the mission made history by discovering water molecules in the lunar regolith. In 2014, India made another giant leap with a Mars Orbiter mission, also known as Mangalyan. This mission captured global attention as India became the first country to successfully reach Mars on its first attempt. Mangalyan's success came at a fraction of the cost of other Mars missions, solidifying India's reputation for cost-effective space exploration. Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle 
India's heavy lift rocket, the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle, is India's heavy lift rocket designed to carry heavier payloads into space. It was first launched on 18 April 2001 and has undergone several iterations and improvements since then. The GSLV uses a combination of solid and liquid propulsion stages, including an indigenous cryogenic engine to achieve its mission objectives. Exploring the GSLV's capabilities and successful missions will showcase India's progress in launching larger satellites and expanding its reach in the space arena. ISRO's Future Space Missions Shukrayan-1 India is planning to send a super cool orbiter called Shukrayan 1 to Venus. The Indian Space Research Organization is all set to explore Venus and dive deep into its surface and atmosphere. They released the funds back in 2017 to get the ball rolling on this amazing project, and they're even looking for some top notch instruments to equip the orbiter with. The big boss at ISRO, S. Somanath, spilled the beans on their upcoming mission plans. They're aiming to launch the mission in December 2024. That's right around the corner. But wait, they've got a backup plan too. If things don't go as expected, they got a second chance with a launch window in 2031. Now here's the juicy part, this orbiter is going to be a real beast. It'll have a science payload capability of around 100 kilograms, which is like carrying a hefty load of 220 pounds. Plus, it's got a decent power supply of 500 watts. Once it's up and running, the orbiter will begin its journey in an elliptical orbit around Venus. It'll be cruising at a mere 500 kilometers above the surface at its closest point, and then soaring a whopping 60,000 kilometers away at its farthest. The Shukrayan 1 mission has got three big research areas it's keen on exploring. First up, they want to dig into the nitty-gritty of Venus surface and figure out all about its layers and how it's been reshaped over time. Then they're all about the Venusian atmosphere, studying its chemistry, dynamics, and any funky variations it might have. Lastly, they're keeping an eye on the Sun's influence, checking out solar irradiance and how it interacts with Venus' ionosphere. Gaganyan 3 Get ready to witness India's very first manned space mission, Gaganyan 3, set to blast off into the cosmos either by the end of 2023 or in 2024. This is a huge leap for ISRO as they team up with DRDO and HAL to make this dream a reality. But wait, this mission isn't just about sending humans to space, it's a whole a process. Before launching the three brave astronauts on their celestial journey, ISRO plans to test the waters with not one, but two unmanned flights known as Gaganyan-1 and Gaganyan-2. This whole endeavor started taking shape way back in December 2014. So you can imagine the excitement that's been building up all these years. This mind-blowing mission comes with a whopping expected budget of nearly INR 12,400 crore. But what's the objective behind all this astronomical spending? Well, it's about showcasing India's own expertise in manned space missions in the low Earth orbit. Aditya L1 Introducing Aditya L1, India's very first solar observation mission. This little wonder will be stationed around the Lagrangian point 1, a jaw-dropping 1.5 kilometers away from our lovely blue planet. Why go so far, you ask? Simple. By dodging eclipses left and right, Aditya L1 can get a close-up view of the solar corona using a nifty solar chronograph. And what's the big deal about studying the solar corona, you might wonder? Well, if all goes according to plan, ISRO will gain the power to predict those ferocious storms coming from the sun and delve into the fascinating world of the solar weather system. The estimated budget for this mission is around INR 378 crore. And that doesn't even include the mind-boggling launching costs. India's potential to overtake China. Now let's shift our focus to the present and explore whether India is on the verge of overtaking China in the space race. 
China has undoubtedly made significant strides in space exploration, including crewed missions, lunar landings, and establishment of a space station. However, India has been steadily progressing and has some notable advantages. One of India's key strengths is its ability to achieve impressive results with limited resources. The country's frugal approach to space missions has allowed them to offer affordable launch services to international customers. This cost advantage positions India favorably in the global space market. While China has successfully sent astronauts into space, India is actively working on its own human spaceflight program. The Gaganian mission aims to send Indian astronauts to low Earth orbit by 2023. If successful, India will join an elite group of nations capable of crewed space missions. So how will India's human spaceflight program, if successful, elevate its status and capabilities in the global space arena? Do let us know in the comment section down below. India has been actively engaging in international collaborations, partnering with other countries and space agencies on various space missions. Collaborative efforts enhance knowledge sharing, resource pooling, and technological advancements. India's participation in global space initiatives strengthens its position in the space race. India's space program has also recognized the potential of the commercial space industry. The Indian government has initiated policies to promote private sector participation in space activities, encouraging startups and fostering innovation. This approach can further accelerate India's progress in space exploration. While India still has ground to cover to match China's current achievements, its unique strengths and ongoing efforts position it as a serious contender in the space race. As both nations continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, it will be fascinating to witness their progress and the impact they make on humanity's journey to the stars. That wraps up our exploration of India's space program and its potential to overtake China in the space race. So what will be the next major milestone for India's space program? And how will it impact their position in the global space race? Do let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.